Raid Array Recovery. User writes in and asks, I had a Raid Zero fail and I lost all my data. How do I recover it? You don't. <laughs> Tough. Sucks to be you. I'm sorry, but it does. Uh, the problem with running something like RAID 0 is that you're striping your data across several drives, and your drive failure rate is basically stacked across of those. If you have drives that are going to experience a 1% failure rate every 1,000 hours, and you have five of those drives, you have a... 15% I think it, it, it doesn't it doesn't add it multiplies but closer to 10% in the that mean time between failure and a thousand hours is of course a legit a hugely small number that isn't realistic but the mean time between failure on most drives is in the like million hours but that's the average failure rate like mean time like if you took all of our devices and you averaged how long they run they're going to be at that million hours when you start looking at how many of them have failed in the first thousand hours the first million uh, you know hundred thousand hours the first two hundred thousand hours those numbers really start to scale when you're talking about something like four drives running in raid zero now if you're raid, running in raid one mirroring Drive failure is no big deal. You didn't lose anything. You have one device that still works. You can recover that data. When you're running in RAID 5 and you have multiple drives with one drive for parity, then you can lose any one of those drives and it will rebuild the array as long as none of the other drives fail during the, the rebuild. If it does fail during the rebuild, that's when you really start to have problems. The problem with RAID recovery is the RAID system is pretty much tied to the controller and every controller has a separate RAID recovery system. So if you're running a Seagate controller, you have different things than if you're running an Adaptech controller, which is going to have different solutions than if you're running some other enclosure or controller. And if you're running an external enclosure, you may have no recovery option depending on what the enclosure was running for software. So the best answer to how do you recover from RAID failure or how do you recover RAIDed data is you don't. You just make sure you don't fail and that you've built a strategy that says that you'll either have backups or that you will never have too many drives fail at once and you keep that data safe. If you don't care enough about your data to worry about it because you're just trying to make your games run faster, no big deal. You just reinstall them over the top. If, in, on the other hand, you're backing up the data of every user in your organization, you may want to do some sort of offline backup in addition to just having the data rated. So have a good strategy for your data storage. RAID is a great solution but every performance increase that you take with RAID comes at the, an increase in the risk of data loss. And so you have to pick your risk to reward settings.